All right, in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and put together beat, except we're gonna do all of the wrong things. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like a complete mess. I'm gonna try and just do everything you're not supposed to do when putting together a beat, and hopefully it sounds good in the end. If that makes sense, let's get to it. Let's just put one hi-hat in there. And let's go ahead and put on an arpeggiator and just do like a weird funky hi-hat pattern using the arpeggiator. Let's see if we can add another octave here. All right, let's get going. Next, let's go ahead and let's maybe bring in a clap sound here. Let's create a pattern region just to get our clap on the three. Convert that over to MIDI. And maybe what we'll do here is duplicate it up one full octave. Except we'll sort of stagger it a bit. All right, next let's go ahead and bring in like an 808. Bring in this 808 over here into that drum machine designer. And we're gonna layer our 808s here because typically you don't wanna do that, but in this challenge we will. Take that, we'll do the same thing we did with the clap. We'll just duplicate it over two octaves and just push it over a little bit. I'm gonna get that. All right, now let's go ahead and maybe, uh, let's bring in another bass, except we're gonna use it as like a percussion type of thing, not like a bass sound. So I'm gonna create a new softness from track. Let's go over to a bass sound and see what we can find here. All right, maybe we'll just layer up our clap there. All right, now let's go ahead and just bring in a melody. And I'm gonna use like an 808 for our main lead sound. Let's drag it into a new quick sampler. bring an arpeggiator on this. I just want to do everything that you shouldn't do with an 808. Bring an EQ. Let's bring in a reverb. Let's go over to reverb. Uh, chroma verb. All right, so that's pretty sounding pretty bad right now, but let's go ahead and add in another sound. I'm gonna bring in a flute. I'm not gonna use it as a flute. I'm gonna use it more of like a mid-rangey bass type of thing. So let's go over to our browser. Let's go over to Vintage Mellotron, and let's just bring in this flutes over here. Oh, I think I just put it on my spins. So let's go ahead and refix that up. Go to Mitch Vintage Mellotron, Flutes, and see what we got here. I'm gonna bring that down one octave. Let's 
let's go and group this together and see if we could add something crazy to it. I'm gonna speed up the tempo a bit here. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and bring in another software some track. I'm gonna bring an instance of contact. And for this one, I'm just gonna add in some vocals. I think it needs some like dark vocals on top of it. So this one, I'm not gonna do anything bad. I'm gonna try and make this sound good because right now it's not sounding the greatest. that in let's bring that in with the halftime over here So there's just a quick mastering over there, but maybe we can try and just reverse this and see how it sounds, make it sound a bit cooler here. Let's see what it sounds like reversed. Reverse that. We can have something like this. there let's take that out this we can go ahead and maybe drop that down one octave let's see what it sounds like I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. I mean, the whole point of this was to do everything wrong and try and make something good. I mean, this does sound okay for all the wrong things we did in the beat. So let's take a listen now. So there is the beat right there. Let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below this video. I tried to do all the wrong things. Let me know if you agree with that or if I should have done more wrong things or let me know what I should do wrong in another beat. Point of this video was to try and show you that you don't have to follow the rules. You can break the rules and maybe something good will come out of it. But on that, we'll catch you on the next one later. Peace.